Hey guys, and welcome back to Landman Builds. So a few weeks ago, I made a video titled 10 ways to improve your Minecraft Victorian city. And in that there are quite a few vehicles and I figured some of these would demand their own video sooner or later. So here it is with three easy vehicles you can add into your Minecraft Victorian town. Number one. So for number one, we have this very simple car. This is a very classic 1910s car which I threw together for the 10 ways to improve video a few weeks ago. And here's a bit of a closer look at it. There's nothing too fancy, but I've used some world edit trickery to get buttons as headlights. But using an item frame and a glass pane works just as well. But do remember, if you do this too much it can lag out your world. Apart from that, it has this characteristic fabric roof on it, which I've used these carpets for, which I think turned out quite well. But overall, you need to look at the shape. Apart from Elon Musk's new car, there are no square cars, and especially not in the 1900s. Because of this, it's good to use stairs and slabs and trapdoors to round out the body so it doesn't look too blocky like you can see I've done here. I've also used oak trapdoors and hoppers on the bottom to create wheels and a sort of spoke looking thing, which I think works a lot better than black wheels with black concrete as it just slims them down a little bit. Number two, a simple cart. There's nothing special about this, but this is absolutely necessary in a town. No matter what, if you say you're building a Victorian town and that have a single cart in it, you're doing something very wrong. This one is a very simple two block wide cart that can be added into the background or foreground of a scene. It uses a lot of trapdoors and signs with oak trapdoors for wheels which are definitely the best for wheels, like I used on the previous car. It just has a few beehives, redstone lamps and barrels on top of it to look like crates and I feel as though it does the job very well. It has signs and trapdoors making up the sides of the cart with trapdoors on the bottom. All in all, there's not too much to say about this one. It's not over the top, it is just a nice, simple and easy addition to your town. Number three, this little delivery van. This van is based off a picture of a classic van from the early 1900s which I found somewhere on the internet and would be used by bigger companies as smaller ones wouldn't be able to afford this. I'm very pleased with this building, it's probably my favourite vehicle I've made so far. It is very much just a modified version of the car shown earlier, it has a large compartment with a nice round roof at the back to store all the goods which are going to be delivered. The canopy could be made out of wood, fabric or metal, but I've done fabric using these spruce trapdoors on this version, and just by doing that you can add variety to the vehicles. The front of the van is extremely similar to the front of the car that I showed earlier, as I've just said, so you could just build a car and just modify it to add a goods area on the back. So thanks for watching this video, this was supposed to be a video on townhouse gardens but that video is going to be pushed back a bit as I didn't actually have any townhouses for the gardens to go behind so I couldn't really do it. So that one will come out in the next few weeks. Thanks for watching this one and we've just hit 100 subs in less than a month which is incredible and I can't thank everybody who has subbed enough. 
We are now well on the way to 200, and when we get to 500, there will be a special build coming out for the occasion, but you have to wait and see what that one is. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.